everyone, Pugo and here, and I am back in this video with another toy breed that I made for the very soon to be released Get Famous expansion. I'm a little bit excited. An adorable Pomeranian I named Neil. With his fresh teddy bear haircut, he is all ready for his headshots. This little guy is full of confidence. He is adorable and he knows it. Don't let that little fuzzy wuzzy body fool you. He is vivacious, spirited, bold and brash. He is an extrovert and he loves to be the center of attention. So make sure he gets lots of walks in areas with an awful lot of people. His hobbies include being the center of attention, of course, modeling and cuddles. Okay, so this is the Pomeranian that they had in Cass and I set about modeling it. I went with the long coat, but you'll see that I decide against that in a moment and started to paint. And I, when I'm painting or modeling them, it's, it's what pleases me, I guess. So I spend an awful lot of time on their face and their eyes because I think it's the eyes that really make the animal look realistic. Okay, so here, this is where I decided that I didn't like him with long hair. No matter what I did, I just couldn't make it work. So I went with the teddy bear cut. And I'm really working on his eyes because I think that gives them so much more expression on their little face. So I'm going in and I keep changing it and using a lot of shading to try to get that fuzzy look because Pomeranians are such, they're just adorable little dogs and they really are full of attitude. So I was shading through, going back and forth, back and forth and trying to see if I could get that fuzzy look that they get when they have the teddy bear cut and going through on his body, but this was a lot of back and forth, tiny little brush trying to get that fuzzy feeling. So I, um, I will go back a lot and onto his belly because I wanted that fuzzy, long, soft, plush feel. Now I'm trying to give him some definition on the fur in the front and I couldn't quite get it right so it was lots of back, lots of forth, a few cups of teas, cuddles with Bonnie the dog and oh the tail yet again was giving me trouble because I couldn't get rid of that white mottling so it was really frustrating so I changed the tail shape you'll see a bit later and just kept going back in I just keep going back in trying to add the details that I want and get the overall look of it I don't didn't want him to be all that fawny red color because every photo I was looking at they seem to have quite a, a beige taut body so that's what I went with. And um, I mean, he's not exact, but I think he's really cute. <laughs> I think he's adorably cute. He actually looks like a little teddy bear. So here I'm trying to put the real details into the body for lots of shading, going back over and trying to give on his chest and his front legs and back legs some definition so you can see where his little folds would be. Not that he's fat, but he's, he's fluffy. He's very, very fluffy. So trying to give some sort of idea. Idea that he's fluffy. And this is what I started with. And this is Neil all finished. I think he's so sweet. I think he's really, really cute. And he looks awesome in game. 
and there's his little teeny tiny paws. And what did I make him? I'm trying to remember. Oh, you can see he is hairy, he is friendly and he's a bit of a talker. He's a bit of a talker. Okay, so I will leave you here. I will be back very soon with another toy breed. And if you would like me to make something, don't forget to like the video, hit subscribe and just leave a request. Bye. Bye.